This is a special day. Do you know why it's a special day? D, 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 D. Today is the 150th video. Really? Yeah, 150. Whoa. We should do something special. Eat popcorn or something. Eat popcorn. We're going to eat popcorn because it's our 150th video. You ever just feel blah? I don't know why, but I woke up this morning and I'm just blah feeling. I don't, I don't get it. No reason whatsoever to be down, depressed, whatever you want to call it. I just, this morning I just feel kind of, and I think a lot of it is you just, <clears throat> there are times in your life when you wonder, are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? And, um, by no means it is my job special. I'm, I'm a, I've got a job just like everybody else, but um, as a minister, I wonder, you know, am I making a difference in anybody's life? And you, you always grade it by what you would consider to be your greatest success. And if you don't stay at that level, you, you know, would tend to feel like, well, I'm missing the mark. And I just, for the last good bit of time, I felt like I've been missing the mark. And I'm steadfast and trying to do, and I'm I'm doing. I'm trying to to find what it is that's missing, and you know, is probably 100% of the time it comes back to there's something missing between me and God. So uh, today's gonna be one of those days that I just really focus on me and God, and uh, I just I don't like feeling like this. So I'm counting on my breakfast meeting with Justin Caton to lift me out of the funk. Justin, if you don't get me out of the funk, I'm going to be very, very funky. Well, it worked. Breakfast with Justin was just what I needed. I vented for a while, complained about some things, and he made me feel like life's okay. Um, it, I've said it before, but it's so crazy. I used to feel like I was this... Tuesday morning meeting was for me to help him and he helps me probably more than I'll ever help him. What a good morning. Uh, enjoyed that. Uh, now it's time to get to the office and get some stuff pulled together. My mind's still spinning. I'm trying to figure out the perfect church. Um, uh, yeah. Another beautiful day here in Chilton County and I have driven up and down my driveway to try to pack this dirt in and pretty good pretty good pretty good let's see where the hose sitting right there probably wasn't the best thing to do because it soaked that area even after i turned it off but it's all good because we are done with that now 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 You look like a nurse. You yeah. didn't say that. Well, you didn't say that. I did that. I did that all day. Why do I look like a nurse? Cause I, have I don't know. Hair. I guess because your hair's back, you got on a white jacket looking thingy. I am not a nurse. So your son the other night is bending down to pick something up and this is what he does. Hold this and film me. And I said, are you holding your shirt so your drawers don't show? And he said, yes, sir. I said, then we got a problem. I hope you're happy. You ruined the whole thing. I just lost every bit of footage I've filmed for the whole day. Really? Nope. I don't know. It just, he was bending down to get cat food. And when he did, he looked like a little girl holding her shirt. Well, I was making sure that it didn't show. Buddy, after what we did last weekend, it don't matter what you try to cover up. I have seen Okay, let's go check out the hot dogs. See what they look like. Better go. Seven, four, three, eight, two. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dickety dog. Oh yeah, you see how they're starting to open up some? Yes, sir. Right there. Why don't you roll them? Have them roll by itself. It's crazy, man. 
Now let's be careful not roll them off. Hit a boy. Hit a boy. Hit a boy. Hit a boy. It's like they've got a mind of their own. They're just a rolling, 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 rolling. You are the hot dog master. Yeah. Hot dog master. It's better than being the hot dog pastor. There you go. Now shut them again. You stick that down in there. And we'll come back in a minute and check yeah. them. Hey, kittle cat. Yeah. Okay, she's not talking. Yep, it is time. Tuesday night with the dudes. Looking forward to it. Galatians 5. So here we go. So what is Tuesday night with the dudes? Uh, I'm glad you asked. Uh, years ago, I started doing a, a devotional or a Bible study uh, discussion time with just like three guys. And all three of those guys are ministers. Now, uh, two of them are working in youth ministry, and then one of them is still in college, but has done numerous things, uh, including hosting Bible studies and stuff at his um, apartment at school. So, one of the things that I noticed is, I, I honestly feel like those guys, I hate to say achieved more, but they kind of are where they are because of what we were doing and please understand that's not a kenny thing that was a god thing moving in them um so had two guys that came to me and said we want to start meeting like that and so we've started and uh we're just barely getting started we're about five weeks in so hopefully and i pray that this is going to be something that's going to spark some growth in these guys and we'll see God moving through them. Great meeting tonight with the guys. Uh, ask them the question, what to you is the perfect church? Here's what they said. Well, I think the perfect church would make anybody who comes into it feel like family and okay. feel accepted. Okay. Like, I feel like we do, but maybe on a broader scale, like not just people who enter our church, but maybe we go out and talk to people and tell them and make them feel like they can be a part of something. Joshua. Uh, I think, I guess you're going to say more now. Um, it, it, it's about the people and how you can reach like really anybody that comes in from any walk of life. But not only that, but it's filled with people that um, that really love you know love god and like it's that sort of community that encourages each other and that sort of thing but now it's time to go home and see the fam before they go to bed and uh wrap up our videos for the day this is a special day do you know why it's a special day d d d d d today is the 150th video really yeah 150. Whoa. We should do something special. Yeah, like eat popcorn or something. Eat popcorn. We're going to eat popcorn because it's our 150th video. I don't, nobody else cares, but I think it's cool. Um, again, we're not doing this stuff to try to make us famous. We just, this is me keeping a journal because uh, I don't know how to spell. So I'm doing this, and it's just something fun for our family to do. So um, I hope you're kind of enjoying it. Um, share some love, man. Me and the pretty girl, my wifey, we're gonna get we're getting ready to do another Q and A, but we're just gonna take a topic, and we're gonna do a a vlog about it. And it's gonna be the story of Jessica and Kenny, so, or Kenny and Jessica, because I'm the man. Oh! Jessica and Kenny. Yeah, it's probably Jessica and Kenny. But anyway. Now we're gonna have popcorn and celebrate 150. 150. Dad, I think when you get 100 subscribers, you can do a special video. We do 100. If we can get 100 subscribers, I'll do a special video. Or it'll be like you and me and Mama, all three. Sorry, us. And Ziva. Ziva and Kittums. Kittums. How they make Kittums? They make Kittums. Oh, yeah. I always forgot the folders up here before. I forgot about that. Okay, yeah. they're talking about work stuff, so I'm going to leave now. So you love God, love people, and be better.